Whoa. I'm just swinging like a pig and no backlash. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Vergil. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be testing the Casking Valiant Eagle 2. This is the black version on the creek. Uh, I passed here yesterday and I saw that the fish were a little bit more dispersed. So I decided to spool the reel with the braid as usual. This is six pound braid and with a lot of fluorocarbon. So the leader is huge because I don't want to spook the fish and I'll be using the Mavlos Oka or Tigek Orca and I'll be throwing very very expensive lures this one is a Rapala Countdown Sinking Mino and I hope to catch something so this is me target practicing with the Rapala Countdown Mino which is a 2.7 gram lure and I had no difficulties whatsoever casting with the Valiant Eagle it's an amazing reel for the price the brakes work amazing if you are on the 3 gram margin at least but the fish were not interested in the Rapala so I'm swapping my lure for something a bit bigger and a bit more whippy latchy so what it should be maybe this guy yeah probably this, this guy this guy it's the Ikiro double crank it's from Spro it's a jointed crankbait and I'm letting it drift as usual so i can put it in front of fish on the creek you cannot see but the creek is a, a lot lower than usual and behind the water pipe so halfway after the water pipe or to the end of the creek there are two steps and i'm letting my lure drift until the first step where it makes a bit of a small waterfall so you have white water there and all the big fish are just before that they are starting to feed on bugs and i just start to retrieve my lure when this happened oh i caught something it's taking a lot of drag Oh, it's snagged. Get out of there. It's a very nice one. I don't know if it's the biggest and now you will see me skirmish and struggle to catch the fish and put it on the net because my net ball is 3 meters which is a lot but the water is so low right now and I, I don't really don't know why because it had been raining for like the past week so probably they just open everything and I will struggle a lot to put this uh. fish on the net uh, at some point I even thought that I would lose it because the lure got caught on the net and the fish stressed a little bit and I sweated a lot. You can hear me <laughs> fighting and stretching my arm the most that I can to put it on the net. And it's done. And again the guy just saying to his wife, look at that handsome fellow with that huge fish right there on the net. Yeah, good one. He's nodding. Yeah. So the guy on the car is acknowledged that I got a, got a, bit, a big fish. Oh, this is really a big fellow. I can feel the weight. Longest 60 seconds of my life in here. Uh, a huge fight. Now, I will try to measure. Right, because I think this may be a, a PB. I think this is probably enough. Oh. 
So let's call it 30. I don't know if you can see it, but let's call it 38 centimeters. Probably the hardest fight that I had because these bigger ones have more experience and they know where to trash. So the Spraw did his magic. So I already caught my PB and I talked crap about this lure when I unbox it. This is the Berkeley Deep Fry and I'll be testing it. It has a very, very nice rattle. I will just make a couple of casts here on the open to see the capabilities of this reel. And the reel is very capable. And the lure is working okay. Let's step a, a bit on the brakes. Yep, almost on the middle of the river, so 18 meters. Yeah, the lure works okay. I don't know if you can see, it's heading against the current, which means I can work this parallel take a little bit off the brakes again still no birds nesting and past the middle of the river so maybe 20 meters so again maybe I spoke too soon about this lure maybe they spent everything on R&D and was nothing left to make it look premium. Yeah. If you want a reel that will give you no troubles, and I'm talking as a beginner, this is about it. I'm just swinging like a pig and no backlash. So now I will see if I can catch anything with the deep fry Berkeley. Spoiler alert, I didn't. I'm going with a Letoyo lure with single hooks. Let's see if anything grabs it. Yeah, nothing grab it upstream. No fish was really interested in feeding. So I went down the bridge and down some more to the pipe. I'm seeing a lot of huge chub again near the step off on the creek I think I need to put trebles on this hook because it's getting... Because these are huge fish biting. Probably similar size to the one that I caught. And I cannot seem to hook them.
I think it was a strike. So they are all following the lure. They are in twigs. And none of them are committing. And these were the last moments that I fished. I was running really out of time. So this is the end of the session. Today I was testing the Casking Valent Eagle 2 Black. This is a magnificent reel. Everything over 3 grams. You don't even have to care. Under 3 grams you will have to mess with it a little bit. But this is just very very smooth. Even when it birds nests. And today I bird nest a little bit. Because I'm using a giant S leader on the, this reel because fish now are very very shy and I had no problems using this reel I even cut my PB so now it's 38 centimeters for chub uh, I caught it on a new lure I caught it on the Spro double crank uh, which is very very nice I was even surprised with the action on the Berkeley deep fry which I complained on the unbox video but it's very, it has a very, very, very good action and it's one thing that you cannot complain when you have things on the hand because they can look crap and be good. Uh, I had a lot of strikes on a Letoyo lure with a coffin bill, but I could not uh, close the deal because of the single hooks. And the hooks are big because they are single hooks and they don't have a lot of traction on the mouths of the chub but overall i'm very very satisfied with the casking valent eagle 2 for a under 100 euro uh, reel i think even under 80 if you got it on a choice day it's a very 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 good reel also the rod it's the second time i use it this is the Tigek orca or mavlos orca it's also very very nice I'm starting to really be fond of the grip on it because it's it's I, don't, I know that you guys can tell it on video it's very very grip it has some sort of of um, cover on it and this is also carbon so overall this combo it's very very nice and pleasant to use I will probably even be putting this reel maybe on the Resolute and putting the Sembo Air on this one because this rod is very light and I would think it will be like 180 grams for the whole combo and this on the Resolute is way better because this can deal with bigger fish than the Sembo so until my next video guys I will see you next time